Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, I have received the next turn from the Historical Gamer. Uh, just arrived in time. Um, I will be leaving today in pretty much just over an hour. So, this is great, great timing. We'll be able to go through the actual turn resolution and uh, maybe have a little bit of discussion, but not much else than that, as I will be leaving very shortly. But at least we get to have a look at this. Hello there, Lord Luber. How you doing, my friends? <coughs> So yes, uh, today we'll be just looking at the actual turn resolution as I'll be going in just over an hour, uh, so I need to get ready. <laughs> this is the issue when you have um, things that distract you from your games. But yeah, this should be mightily interesting. I'm rather nervous, very very nervous as I imagine everybody will be, as we don't know what's going to happen. We can only hope for the best and um, we'll, we'll expect the worst. We expect the worst, and it's never going to be that bad. Hmm. That's great, man. Good to hear about that. Okay, we continue to unload it. Go to the room. No. Horse Z does not yet look as though it's moved. And the weather here is looking as though it's overcast. Uh, stormy over here. At least it's stormy over by this submarine. We see some forces out in the Strait of Malacca by Georgetown. That's interesting. Allied ship in here. The British forces continue to move from Victoria Point. As I can see so far, no extra movement. So far. Okay, further 33 casualties on our forces here. How many defensive guns? 24 defensive um, guns are. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Right, here we go. The uh, Midget Submarine HA-24 has actually intercepted a destroyer. But I... Ooh, a few destroyers here. Yeah, I don't think uh, the Midget Submarine is going to survive this, to be honest. Hmm. Right, they've abandoned the search. Well, this is interesting though. This has actually provided us some very interesting information. So we can see the light cruiser Honolulu, the Ralph Talbot, uh, the Cunningham, Case Cummings, and Jarvis. That's very interesting. This is some good information here. At least we're aware of uh, a light cruiser and what five destroyers are uh, operating in the area. That's rather intriguing. Okay, so HA24 is sighted by escorts. I imagine it should be traveling on the surface here. Right, cannot reach attack position over the submarine. I wonder if that's due to its small size. Yeah, loads by hooking the bottom. The crew is actually doing very well, I imagine. I think it's only, what, two free crewmen? Or something blew up. Hmm. That's interesting that we don't see all the task force movements. I wonder if this is due to the fact that this uh, turn resolution is actually shared, so therefore we can only see what each other sees. That's rather interesting. Of course, I've not seen this from the other side, so I don't know how it does work. Okay, we have our heavy cruisers here laying down fire. That should be quite effective. Mikuma, I think... Um, yeah. I think we have uh, Megami there as well. Yep, just Megami as well. Wow, that's actually ve wow. Okay, that's actually very effective, almost too effective, actually. 194 casualties is actually very impressive. Uh, four guns destroyed, three disabled. And uh, we've actually destroyed an engineering squad as well as disabled six more. We destroyed two um, non-combat and disabled 21. That's actually very impressive. Uh, the damage to the runway is a shame. But, uh, yeah, damage to the actual pod. This was actually very effective. I suppose that's what happens when you have four heavy cruisers uh, engaging. That's very effective. 
Interesting. We'll have to see which range they engaged at. Do I gain that information? Uh, not right here, but we can check that one later. If any would have showed me here in the animation, but I wasn't looking at the range at that point. Right, something else has sank. Right, HA-14. So... Are these... Destroyers leaving Pearl Harbor? Right, Ward has been spotted. <laughs> Indeed. Hmm. Now the midget submarines are destined to die unless they could make it back to their submarines anyway. Well, their mother subs. Okay. Yeah, notice only six coastal guns now fire in defense. But the actual bombardment by our heavy cruisers is actually being very effective there. Yeah, so it looks as though they're leaving Pearl Harbor. Well, this is great, so at least we have some information on what's left Pearl Harbor. Uh, we did hear something sinking, which is rather intriguing. As far as I'm aware, it's not something of my own. And as far as I'm aware, we've not actually uh, managed to land our torpedo. I don't think a single torpedo has been fired in anger here. So that is a very interesting little thing there. Could it be the midget submarines are simply running out of fuel and just obviously, well, they can't go any further, can they? Or is it potentially something within the actual port itself that's been sunk? Could it also be elsewhere? This is the thing. I thought I kept them was in uh, Canton. Well, at least I can see they can actually make it to Hong Kong. Rod Jarvis. Miss. Oh my god, if Jarvis had been hit then, that'd have been amazing. I think they've only got, like, basically one round of shots in them, so that's pretty much it for HA-14. Right, yes, she's going to die. What is she? Yeah, she's going to die. No. Oh, she does receive hits. But we can see here Jarvis, St. Louis, Patterson, Blue, Cunningham, Case, and Cummings. Okay, so we are seeing multiple destroyers leaving Pearl Harbor now, which is very interesting. Hmm. I'm actually happy with that information. That's very valuable information, to be honest. Right, there we go. Tell, uh, 10 Allied ships, 139121 near Mill, uh, Millie, speed 18. That's incredibly important information. We'll definitely check on that one to see what we can gather from that. Okay, we notice a ship just off the coast of Hawaii there. Well, somewhere now to see. Allied aircraft near Johnson Island. Hmm. Yeah, so I think this must be how it works then in the actual turn resolution. Uh, I think we both see the same things. Obviously, our search aircraft will reveal things, but then we'll see those. Um, up, Alexander. Well, I was speaking with THD, and uh, yeah, he basically says, yeah, as long as you're not doing it in the first turn, that's pretty much fine. Uh, though, it's going to be an interesting thing. Right, we have a naval attack over here. Ah, torpedo hits. Nice. Hopefully, we don't lose many planes here. Ideally, none would be best. Wing Sang. Right, no hit. No hit. Hit. Very nice. Supposedly this is an AP, but I don't believe that one. Uh, torpedo hit one, torpedo hit one. Uh, we receive no losses, which is very nice. We can see here we have the G3M2 now supported by the ki 43 as This is interesting. Uh, maybe trying to drive your subs from Hawaii. Uh, well, the ones, the midget submarines, are the ones already within Pearl Harbor. So they can't go anywhere, but it's actually very valuable information seeing the destroyers coming out there. That's very valuable information. Hello there, Olaf. How you doing, my friend? I think as far as it goes with uh, Kitabutai, we'll see. Right, we do have a very large... Okay, there's 21 P-40 Warhawks. We do have 63 Zeros, so we do have a good number of Zeros here. Uh, 5 P-35As. Increase the number of P-40B Warhawks. But I think we should be okay. Now, the most important thing about this engagement is the altitude. 
This is very important. Notice we're diving on the Warhawks. This is very good information. Now this right here, yeah, Warhawk destroyed. This is incredibly good information here. Notice we are diving. Very, very nice. I indeed. E35 uh, damage. Critical hits on a Warhawk. Warhawk damaged. Another two Warhawks have joined the battle. Uh, diving is so good because it's like you're basically... You're approaching from above the enemy aircraft. And uh, most of the time, they won't know you're there. So you can imagine you've got a much larger target to hit. And your target probably doesn't know you're there. Or doesn't have very much time to actually react. Uh, so we're engaging at about 20,000 feet here. So we're definitely diving upon the enemy here. And just look at the damage we're doing. So we've lost a zero there due to it can't um, keep in formation. But we've already destroyed a number of P-40s. I'm going to hold my breath because I don't want to lose many zeros. But this is going very well so far. So far we've beaten up the um, defenses at Clark Airfield. Very nice. So P-35A down. Yeah, notice firing from behind. I mean, the fact that we're behind them is absolutely devastating. Oh, this is beautiful. Another one bites the dust. The thing is, the planes that we damage here are going to return to the airfield, and they may be destroyed by the bombers coming as well. But this engagement is very, very solid. Right, we've lost another one due to damage, but the thing is they haven't been shot down. Uh, uh, well, another one retires there due to lack of ammunition. <laughs> That's actually impressive, lack of ammunition. Right, a Warhawk dived on our zero there, so it seems like the uh, Warhawks are definitely now into a dogfight. Uh, but if we're engaging at 15,000 feet, then we definitely do have the maneuverability. Yeah, from behind, I know, right. The fact that we're engaging them from behind, from above and behind, is incredibly good. I mean, it's an incredibly dangerous position to have a bloody fight on your tail. Never mind a zero, which is a hell of a lot more maneuverable than you are has a, a pretty damn fearsome gun complement. And our fighters are pretty good. Well, our pilots are pretty good. I'm so very happy I got to do this before I left today. This is absolutely slaughter. Yep, there we go, continue to dive. I mean, planes continue to arrive. I mean, we've done extremely well here. We had the numbers. We just, uh, yeah, there we go, firing from behind. They're lucky that they're not immediately destroyed. This is actually a very large air battle. Notice that planes are arriving from combat air patrol. And the Warhawk destroyed. This is a momentous uh, moment here. Right, they're firing the G4 M1. Interesting. Yeah, driven away by defensive fire. None of our betters are damaged. They're now within the bombers, it seems. But this is interesting because they do have uh, Yak yeah, Critical Heal and P35A. P35A damaged. Hmm. And the thing is, our planes are obviously at higher altitude, so our bombs are obviously 20,000 feet. Uh, so the American aircraft are having to fly to a higher altitude where they have even less maneuverability. Uh, which is actually very handy for our bombers, it means that their defensive gunners have a much easier time. 
Ideally, we come through this confrontation with no losses. That would be a dream. Oh, well, there we go. Too good to be true. We do lose a single bomber, but that's not too bad. The damage that they're going to deliver to the airfield should ideally finish off some additional aircraft. There we go. The combat is over. And we've lost zero fighters. Uh, one has uh, left the battle due to low ammunition. Uh, two left due to, I think, potential damage. But um, I don't believe they've destroyed, which is very good. We're currently hitting the runway here. This is a good number of bombers as well. The good news is uh, we can continue this. Each time we um, continue this, the airfield is damaged even further, which means the amount of American aircraft that can respond is even lower. Hello there, Lorenzo. How you doing, my friend? But that was a beautiful battle to watch there. Right, here we go. Round two. Uh, another nail destroyed, which is a shame. Ooh, another one destroyed. And uh, another bomber destroyed. Hmm. Okay, so we're not going to come out of this without uh, losses, but this isn't too bad. I can replace those losses. Right, and the final numbers. So notice, 63 zeros. 4 P-26As, 16 P-35As, 9 P-40B Warhawks, 27 P-40E Warhawks. Uh, so the final numbers are 2 G3M2 nails destroyed, 2 damaged. Uh, 1 G4M1 betty destroyed, 6 damaged. No zeros destroyed or even listed as damaged. Now, these numbers seem a little bit uh, wrong. I'm sure we destroyed more aircraft than that. So it seems like the actual combat summary isn't actually too accurate. I'm almost... I'm sure we actually destroyed more than that. Uh, but yeah, still. Destroyed another war few Warhawks destroyed, quite a number of aircraft destroyed. Uh, 13 hits on the airbase, 20 hits on the runway. 11 casualties. Right now, let's take a look here. Yes, right. So this is where combat begins. Interesting. The group patrol altitude is 16,000 feet. Hmm. Group, our, um, group patrol altitude is 20,000 feet. Radius overhead. Group patrol 15,000 feet. Between 15 and 17,000 feet. Yeah, that's a good idea. Check uh, the air losses, but we definitely did very nice there. Right. So, from what we can tell here, the um, Allied fighters are running between... 15,000 feet. I'm going to say 15,000 feet. I think it'd be very strange to do 16,000 feet because you're not gaining anything by an additional 1,000 feet. You're just losing. It's like if you're going to go for that next airband, you might as well go to 20,000 feet to actually gain the potential for... Uh, wow, okay. Well, they're going to be slaughtered. I'm not... I can't bear to watch that. Yeah, they should have arrived with the actual main body. So it seems that we lost there potentially five bombers, but three destroyed, five damage. <laughs> yeah, I've been a little there. So they've got to arrive at the same time. Okay, so we have some escorts here, and we're intercepting these ships. Uh, no damage inflicted, but at least we can see this ship. Bit of a waste of zeros there. Ugh. Why do they arrive? Okay, fairly light losses, but actually, no damage inflicted by us. Well, then again. Hmm. No confirmed hits, anyway. That's a large raid against Georgetown. Uh, airbase, 6. Airbase supply, 4. Runway, 24. An additional raid. Mm. 
further hits. I doubt the raid on Hong Kong is going to achieve anything. I may be better off actually using these aircraft somewhere else. Right, so we're using our aircraft. Right, so the Chinese are actually marching here, so he's trying to get out of the area. In all honesty, if he moves off the rail line, he's doing me a favour. Uh, 22 casualties inflicted. Okay, really should not have the Tojos joining in there. Yeah, the air bases there should be pretty heavily damaged. Okay, here we go. Hitting additional Chinese troops out in the country. Right. It seems um, Allied aircraft are trying to intercept Congo and Haruna. No damage, but obviously it's going to know my location. The weather in the Hex is thunderstorm, so it does make it very advantageous for our ships here. Not great, but the thing is it's very difficult for the aircraft as well. Right, so 3K431A Oscars are roused to intercept this raid. Now, I imagine they will be going for the heavy cruisers such as the Megami. But the Megami are actually very... Very, um, well, they, they can handle themselves. And against bombs, they're very resilient. Well, resilient. Well, that's not good action, is it? Oh, two of them. <laughs> oh, dear. That's very low altitude. Hmm. They don't achieve any much. Ideally, no damage. But we'll see. Hello there, Baden. How you doing, my friend? Hello there, JC Destroyer. No, uh, no swordfish action as of yet. <laughs> That's where I got That's going to become a meme. Okay, so we destroyed one supposedly by flag, which is quite nice. The further six are damaged. Uh, that worked out very nice. So you can see here that approach them at 3,000 feet, 6,000 feet. That's interesting, so at least we know what sort of um, altitude is approaching at. Yeah, five planes are just so just superb. Okay, one A and one Bs. But that's a shame, you've trailed away on fire, we might actually lose a fighter here. This seems like the ki 43 is very much struggle against um, light bombers, well against bombers. That's not good. Uh, thankfully, no damage received. Uh, our aircraft actually make it back to the airbase. The Hudson's received damage. Uh, well, here we go. We're definitely going to lose a uh, ship now. I wish I was joking. I actually do expect to lose a ship to these bloody wildebeests. They are just ridiculously strong. But we destroyed one of them, so at least that's um, all out of five ships that may survive. See what I mean? They just hit. They are unbelievably accurate. It is just, I swear to God. I swear to God, it is like a meme. <laughs> I just don't understand why they're so good. I get that they're effective, but god damn, it just seem to be very, very superior. That's two 500 kilogram bombs. That's, that's no small measure. So at least we can deduce that um, his aircraft are definitely trying to hunt ships out here. Which is actually decent. The fact is they're heading for uh, Congo Haruna, which is actually soaking up damage, which is okay. But they've not actually been damaged, so they can actually deal the damage back to the aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so the historical gamer will be posting his turns. I don't know if it's up yet, but the thing is I, I can't check, which is a shame. Uh, just because I, I don't want to learn anything, I don't want to see anything just in case. I don't, I don't know. It's not worth it. Uh, but you can definitely go over there and check it out. Interesting. He's using his B-17... ...as ASW. Okay, that's a little bit too many zeros there in Combat Air Patrol. Probably want to reduce that to maybe about 10% of a squadron. 
Which is still a respectable number, don't get me wrong. Right, partial clowned. Okay, no damage. Okay, four ACSM two zeros. Blenheim immediately destroyed. Bonds driven away by defensive fire, it seems. See, these zeros have the cannons, so they can definitely do heavy damage to these uh, bombers. Yeah, they're going to withdraw. <laughs> right, they do land a hit. Okay. Uh, yes, about Victoria Point and Devoy. The thing is, um, they are obviously trying to move from Victoria Point. Well, that doesn't look as though they're moving right now. Uh, yes, they are trying to move to Victoria Point. The thing is, though, it's going to take them some time to actually march. So what I'm doing is, obviously, the Royal Thai Army units, as well as the units I'm sending from uh, Indochina, for Thailand and Indochina, uh, into Malaya. They're going by strategic transport, uh, which will only take them two days. So they should be able to move before the units from Victoria Point arrive. Uh, if they arrive after, then we can drive them off quite easily. Okay, one Blenheim destroyed, so we do receive a bomb hit here. Uh, it's heavy on the transport. Right. That's not good. Hmm. 13,000 feet. That does make me very nervous. He's using his aircraft here aggressively. Luckily so far, no, well, losses. We've taken hits, but we haven't lost anything as of yet. So things can be saved. Right, HA-22. There's definitely a sinking noise there. Right, St. Louis, Patterson, Blue, Cunningham, Kegs, Cummings and Jarvis. I-19. Oh, please hit the ABD. Please, please. Oh, that's such a shame. Taking out the ABD would have been a nice target. Ah, that's a shame. Ah, Midget Submarines have given us a lot of information here. <laughs> well, to be fair, you shouldn't be telling him anything. Um, how it needs to go is he'll see the actual turn replay and then you can tell him afterwards. Nice hit. Ng Wong. Who's a mine layer. Good job, good job. He goes down. No sightings of an American aircraft carrier as of yet. But we are clear to use Kitabutai to hunt if we so choose to. Right, defensive forces here. The 8th Indian Brigade, high, well, ideally should have taken some damage. Right, 15 casualties. Once our forces are ashore, then, ashore, sorry, then we can obviously um, have proper momentum going. We'll set them to the deliberate attack. Okay. <laughs> okay, so interesting turn so far. Interesting turn. It's more so what happens that we can't see than what we do see here at the moment. Right, yeah, just look at the sheer amount of ships here. It's a massive difference, isn't it? <laughs> massive difference. 
so many of them. Just, just look at that. Just, <laughs> that is beautiful to see. That is absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine what THG would say if you could see all this? Right then. No sight and down here, which is a shame. I did you mo I did move you at full speed, so I should have moved them at full speed as well, actually. Now we can use Kidabutai to hunt. We could patrol this area. Hmm. Well, I will have to... Well, I... <laughs> ah, excuse me. Again, tongue tied. Um, I do need to continue my single-player one. Um, what I need to do with that one is just do a lot of off-cam work, really get things organized to such a degree. The thing is, it's like I do feel a little bit ashamed about the single-player series now, just because it's like um, I've learned so very much in this multiplayer series so far. It's actually a hell of a lot more... It's a hell of a higher quality series than the single player series. So I don't feel I'd be doing people justice unless I actually completely reorganize it and make it as efficient as possible at that stage. It's, it's a love-hate relationship. Okay, probably should have you guys out of here. I really actually didn't intend to send you here. <laughs> yeah. LST. Mm, that would be a valuable target. Right, we are seeing multiple submarines here. Now, an important question is, where is Force Z? I don't know. I actually don't know. Hmm. I actually don't have any sightings here. Uh, will you continue your German Challenge 1 where you are, trying to stop the Soviet events? Uh, we have another session of that on the Matrix stream. Uh, though afterwards, <coughs> depending depending what people uh, would like, I could continue over on the channel. Okay. I'm not confident about the actual B-17s attacking the um, ships here. We do have a decent um, escort, though. Evasions are on Rome. Okay. As far as I'm aware, he'll have no notions of an invasion of Canton. Um, his only clue may be the fact that May uh, well, Mackin has not been invaded yet. Uh, though, of course, it depends if he's going to notice that he may miss that. Oh, thank you, man. That's really appreciated. Well, I'd like to try and make this series something of a um, tutorial. It's like I'm no, by no means a professional player, but I figured if I do things on camera as much as possible, at least if I'm learning, that means other people will be learning as well. And it's an incredible experience playing against a human opponent. At the end of the day, it's vastly more challenging than a actual AI opponent. <laughs> Indeed. Right, so if we take a look over there at China, uh, we don't see any actual engagement as of yet, but we are seeing units moving. Right, notice we have one more day to travel to make it to, uh, what is this? This is Yixiang. Uh, so Yixiang should receive reinforcements by the time the Chinese forces arrive here. Uh, this is what I was hoping for. Chinese forces are moving down here to the rail yard, well, to the rail lines. Uh, we do have reinforcements on their way to actually aid there. Right. Uh, what is the... 85 of 49. 85-49. Okay, so it's going to take some time for them to arrive. Yes, it will take them some time to arrive there. But once they get moving, they'll be there pretty quickly. And there's additional forces here. Right, so you're set to combat. We'll have you on move order.
Ah, oh, right, I see. Okay. <laughs> see you later, there, JC Destroyer. Have a good one, my friend. Right. Chinese forces are moving along the railroads. Yeah, well, they're moving towards the railroad. You're definitely trying to move off. As far as I can tell, no further movements. Uh, though importantly, our forces have arrived over here at Hong Kong. Very momentous occasion. Very momentous occasion. We do have our additional supporting forces, the well, 104th Division, as well as the 21st Motor. Uh, sorry, Mortars. Now, how long until they arrive? They'll be there within maybe about two days, give or take. Hmm. So, Brez, how are you doing, my friend? Well, I am. I'm going away. It's like I'm on two weeks holiday at the moment, uh, but I'm going away this weekend, like Friday, Saturday, probably. Uh, whether I'm back Saturday, whether I'm back uh, Sunday is a different thing. But uh, t um, I should receive the turn from the historical gamer. It's like I've got to be gone in like um, under an hour, pretty much. But I'm just doing a little bit of the turn resolution, so you'll be able to see the turn resolution here. And, uh, yeah, we're just getting a few things done, and then I'll have to actually cut the stream off here. Yeah, that's very true. Well, good practice. Okay, so we'll take a look then at the actual logs, then. Let's figure out how many aircraft were lost, then. Uh, air to air losses today. Yeah. Uh, so supposedly the Allies lost 14 today. Two by flak, four by operational losses, so actual some decent losses there. Uh, today we lost 12, so I'm going to say that's probably the bombers. Four by flak, two, operational losses, two. Sounds pretty good. You can see that number has changed, obviously we do need to try and keep a decent complement in Manchuko. Uh, but we'll be moving things forward with Manchuko. Uh, like Manchuria, etc., the forces there. Take a look at ship availability. Obviously, we did make the changes here. We're looking at... Uh, I don't know if this has actually changed as of yet. Uh, but the 2nd of May, 42. 30th of July, 42. I'd have to compare that to what we were seeing last time to really see the difference. Okay, no failures, which is always a good thing. That means the industry's working fine for them now. Okay. Take a look then. Operation reports. A lot to go through here. And I'll add ships one three nine one two one. One three nine. Hmm. Now that can't be. Surely it can't be. No, I'm gonna. No, they wouldn't be able to arrive there so fast. There'd be no way. That's actually very really interesting. I do wonder if the Shogun. Well, I do wonder if the Total War tracks are actually copyrighted. Um, I use things that are not copyrighted. Like the Darkest Hour soundtrack and the Heart um, of Free soundtrack, for the most part, isn't copyrighted, which is fantastic. Really, very, very nice. Okay, so we are aware of a great number of uh, cruisers and destroyers there. Yeah, so look at the difference there. 1A6720 destroyed today versus the 57 on the first, well, 56 on the first day. 
Here's a big loss. I'm not happy about that. Yeah, lose a few bombers today. But we destroy three uh, P-35As, uh, three P-40B Warhawks, 11 P-40E Warhawks. Catalina's been destroyed. Yeah, so 10 of them destroyed in the air. One loss, two operational. But he hate those things. That's very good, so we destroyed... Um, <laughs> yeah. We destroyed something like, what, 15 aircraft in the air in that engagement. That was an incredibly good engagement. Very nice. I think he'll be feeling some of those losses now. At least that will make him worry a little bit more. He's not going to see the same repeat of the A6M2s being shot down. It's a shame that we lost so many. Okay. Conning Tower near Shishima. Right, so these will be submarines. Okay, so these submarines need to be moved ASAP. Okay, so where are my oilers? I need to move these guys. Okay, so that ACSM2 was written off. Which is a shame. Ah, there we go. Kill number two. Hmm. Number of aircraft damage on landing, crashes on landing, damage on landing. Bad reporter killed. That's good to see. Devices have been upgraded. Yeah, look at all that. Very good. One three six one zero four. I'm not seeing anything near here. There's still time to find the American carrier. Still time. West. Hello there, tank. How you doing, my friend? Right. So you did receive damage. You have ammunition to go. We still have the possibility of destroying enemy ships here. So far we don't seem to have lost a single ship, which is very, very handy. Right. Now we've lost sight of Force Z, which does um, concern me somewhat, even Southwest. The other thing is, uh, my Sundarays, they're doing a good job here. Of course, Congo did suffer some damage to her right side AA, but that can be fixed very easily. Very light damage overall. <laughs> yeah. It'd be interesting to have that. As long as it's copyright free, I'd be like, pretty good with that. 
No, sadly not yet. But it would have been very nice to have had uh, the mannequin carry sighted. The other thing is I'm definitely free now to use Kitabutai. We'll probably have Kitabutai swing south past Johnson Island down into this area. And again, she might be just making a straight break for it, but this depends on where she's going. We do have our search aircraft observing this area of the Pacific, though. Uh, so if she does pass in this manner, we should potentially have a sight on her. Ocean coastline. Yep, Guam invasion on its way. Okay. So many ships here. Right, and here are Nagato and Mutsu on their way to the Pacific. I should probably just put the... They're moving at 25 knots due to Yamashiro anyway. And yes, this is where we'll leave you here for today, so thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you again in the future. Goodbye for now.